chat. Do you know how to ride a bicycle? I'm sure you do. I do too. But how many of us attended a class to be taught how to ride a bicycle? I'm sure none of us. We learned how to ride a bicycle. By so doing, practically, we fell down, we got bruised, but we went again and again and perfected the art. And because of those experiences, today we can still ride a bicycle because it was done practically. That is all about learning. I want to talk about conditioned learning. My name is Mr. Collins. See you in a bit. What is conditioned learning? This is simply learning through a predefined system. Learning by someone expecting you to behave in a certain way, do things the way they think things should be done. I went through a system where I was expected to cram formulas of mathematics, I was expected to cram concepts, all in the name of examination. I crammed them, passed my examination, got my A's, but today I'm not able to remember those same concepts. We need to stop conditioning students and start allowing them to be part of the learning. Learning should be fun, learning should be enjoyable, and learning should be motivating even to the teacher. If our learning is made more practical, just like from my example of riding a bicycle, the experience was so nice. We enjoyed the experience. We fell down, but we never gave up. We never lost hope. We kept doing it again and again because the experience was good. Teaching is not equal to learning. If that was true, then all the teachers who got A in mathematics would simply transfer that knowledge to the students. Teaching is about teachers. But learning, that is the main objective, it's about the students. The teachers want the students to learn, but we have to change the way we do this. Learning a language for the young children. There is no teacher who walks into a class to teach them a language. They learn through hearing, through imitating, and eventually they know how to use the language and communicate very effectively. But something happens when these children steps into a classroom and then teaching gets in. These children start struggling in the same language that they have been learning without a teacher. So what should we really do as teachers? We need to be the facilitator of the learning that has started, especially for these young children, and continue the same process in school. We should not change the system. We should allow these children to learn through doing. We should be part of it. We should facilitate the learning process and stop teaching as they listen because they also have a tech. We learn from each other. We learn from one another. And if we copy paste the same information that they have been learning at home, an example is riding a bicycle, an example is learning a language, and we bring that into school, the same way they have learned a language and how to ride a bicycle is the same way they are going to learn these concepts if we package them in a more fun and loving manner. Learning happens in the absence of teaching. What do I mean by this? A teacher is just a facilitator of education. A teacher needs to understand the content, understand the learners and the environment, and then devise a method in such a way that it captures these three at an individual level. This way, it creates an environment that is suitable for the learner to explore their curiosity, ask questions, be able to add or subtract content with the guidance of the teacher. If we approach learning in such a way, we are going to have efficient and effective learning processes. That way, we will produce better citizens at the end of the day. Thank you for watching this channel. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Till next time, see you.